Right, so what we're going to look at now is um, using Hootsuite to set up a social media listening post. This basically allows you to, rather than having to go to Twitter and look at lots of different accounts on a regular basis, you can set up a dashboard and you can basically just keep an eye on your brands, your com competitors, and see exactly what uh, is being said around sort of various conversations around hashtags, the competition, and things like that. Um, Hootsuite is not the easiest site to get your head around, but it's incredibly useful once you set it up, and that's why I've done this, because um, it, it, it's worth doing. It's just a pain uh, when you first get set up. When you first come onto the site here, you can see you have this free trial option. Uh, that's not what we want. The free, free trial is when they try and encourage us here to spend on it. So we just do a search on Google for Hootsuite free accounts, and then that will allow us to uh, find them. Again, apologies, I'm on the MacBook, and when I click the trackpad, it's really noisy on the recording. Uh, I can only apologize for that. Also, I'm in Argentina, and the internet's quite slow, so it's not quite as good as one might hope. So you can see, okay, so here's Hootsuite free. That's exactly the one we want. So you'd go on here, and you'd create an account and log in. Um, you'll need to remember your Twitter login details when you do this. Um, I'm sure you can not beyond you so uh, with luck that should be okay um, we'll wait with Zen like patience while that loads um, I'm going to go back to this tab anyway and just sign in um, so I've logged in I've already got an account so I just don't have any uh, social networks set up on it okay so here we are here's our dashboard um, and I'm going to shut this one because obviously it can't cope with the most basic of tasks what we want to do is we want to add a social network we will then connect with Twitter. Damn it. Okay, we don't want to do that. See what it's trying to do? It's trying to get us to follow Hootsuite and Hootsuite Latam. We don't want to do that. Uh, we will connect with Twitter and not follow them. I really dislike these services that try and persuade us to sign on and follow lots of people that we're not very interested in. So that should work. Now we're going to look at that and we're just going to log into Twitter there. It's now going to redirect us and we will now have. Uh, start creating some tabs. So I'm just going to call the first tab home and this is just going to be my normal uh, Twitter tab. So I click on there. I'm going to add a stream. My home stream would be my news feed on Twitter. Uh, mentions, anyone who's mentioned me, obviously. Favorites, really important. And you can have a tab if you're vanity based of uh, new followers and things like that. And then we can delete this. This little thing up here just allows us to fit the streams to the right width on the tab, how many, many people we've got. Favourites for me are incredibly important, so this is all the stuff that I haven't read and that I want to come back to later. So Twitter is just, Twitter favourites is, is the way, it's the most important thing for me. Um, so if we want to set up another tab, there's two layers of tabs. So we've got streams, which are these things down within a tab, and then the tab is the sort of overriding folder. Um, and one of my clients at the moment is Unilever, so we can create an account uh, tab for Unilever. And they've got a whole bunch of different brands they might want to keep an eye on. We're going to add a stream, and this time uh, we're going to do a search. So we just want to search on Twitter, and let's see what's being said about Ben & Jerry's, which is one of their brands. We could have a look at what's being said around uh, Dove, which is another one of their brands. So we, again, you'd need to know their Twitter handle. I know that's it's at Dove. If you didn't know that, you'd just come over to another tab. You'd go onto Twitter and you'd do a search for uh, Ben & Jerry's or Dove or whichever sort of brand you wanted to keep an eye on. And then you could see uh, any particular. And you'll often find sort of if you're looking for, so if we look for Dove here, it would usually come up with a suggestion of what the account is. But I know that anyway. Um, so if we come back to here, we can see Ben and Jerry. So this is people just mentioning Ben and Jerry's. Here's Dove. Um, and we can start to see here's some sort of hashtags they're using. So maybe want to, uh, you know, keep an eye on these hashtags as well. I don't know if that's an official one or something else. So Speak Beautiful seems to be one of their official ones. Again, maybe I'll sort of keep an eye on that. I understand if you speak beautiful, but maybe all will be revealed. Um, and then again, try and find sort of hashtags around, uh, so we can see sort of, uh, here we go. There's some various different things that we can do, some quite smart stuff when we do searches. Um, actually, let's get rid of that. We're going to add a stream. We 
get rid of this one, and I want to add a stream, and this time what it's going to give us is uh, search as well. And within search, there's a couple of clever things we can do. So we can say, uh, show examples, and this shows us how we can search for things. So if we want exact phrases, we can click on uh, using the uh, you know apostrophes. If we want to look at positive mentions of Dove, we can click on uh, just enter Dove and happy face. So again, that's people who are searching or mentioning Dove in a positive way. Uh, so we can see things like that. Again, language-wise, we're getting lots of different things, so it's just slightly annoying. Um, I don't think there's a language search on Hootsuite, but there are some other things. So I'll show you something quite smart. If we look at search again, you see this little thing? We can actually look at location results. So we can say Dove. And then I say, I just want location results near where I am at the moment. This will always depend on where you are. So you can't exactly say, I just want to listen to mentions of Dove in London. And again, we can start to see so there's no mentions of Dove apparently around here. I find that slightly hard to believe. Um, and what we can see is we, we can see it's looking within 25 kilometers of Buenos Aires. Where I currently am, let's say 1,000 kilometers. I find this quite it's 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 meant to be a feature. It doesn't always work. Give it a try. It's 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 you know it's good that it's there. As I say, I don't have a great deal of success with it. Uh, and if we want to get sort of unhappy face uh, queries around Dove, then we can click on save, and you can see. So we can start to see. So that's quite interesting. Some negative comments about the brand, um, and we can start to see what's uh, being shared. Again, quite useful from a brand's point of view. So you can see very quickly we've just set up a really nice couple of tabs. Um, one which is our Twitter page, one which is uh, Unilever brand. And again, you just go to Twitter, you start to do a search to find you know, who your competition are, what the hashtags you want to look at. In terms of hashtags, um, there's lots of different sites that will show you what's trending. Um, one of the ones I quite like is called Trends Map. And again, it looks at uh, your location and where you've been. Um, I don't know whether it's going to update. Uh, let's see. There's a free service and a paid service. So this is the UK. So you get an idea of the sort of hashtags that are happening today and what's being shared. And we can zoom in and get a sort of more granular view of what's happening. And it will update in its very good time. Um, next up, I'd probably make a tab and I'd call it competitors or something like that and again we're going to add a stream um, always is one of their competitors so let's have a look at that again I know they use some hashtags so hashtag like a girl let's have a look for... there was a lovely cam campaign in the UK um, recently called uh, hashtag this girl can um, it is a really nice example of sort of, uh, you know, mission-based or purpose marketing. So again, we can start to see: are these hashtags used in the right way? Are they used as they're meant, or are they being appropriated by different people? Uh, you know, sometimes you get trolls who use hashtags. So again, this, uh, you know, that was the original video for Like a Girl. Don't just obsess with the brand names and the hashtags that the brands are using. Sort of try and think about what are the other sort of hashtags that real people are using. Um, you know, it's interesting seeing what content shared around stuff. Uh, both Unilever and PNG have lots of laundry brands, so you could look for things like laundry tips. So, it's what's the sort of content people are sharing around that? And that could then give you a good idea in terms of the content or the sort of stuff that people like sharing, what's, what's particularly popular, and what seems to be doing quite well. Um, I think that's it for now. Um, it, basically what we've done is in hopefully less than five minutes we've just created a couple of useful tabs a social listing social media listening posts that you can just spend five minutes a day tracking and having a look at obviously there's services there's software like TweetDeck that you can download but the beauty of Hootsuite is we don't need to load it it just loads within the web browser and again we can just sort of keep an idea of what's happening so I'll leave it there for now if you've got any questions do uh, just send them through uh, this will be on YouTube so you leave comments or anything like that but thank you I hope you found that useful and uh, See you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.